Hi. So recently I was accepted to University of Kiel. That's a university from Germany, which is located near Denmark, like in between the border of Germany and Denmark, uh, in the northern part of Germany. So I was accepted to study a master's degree in University of Kiel, Germany for two years. And in this video, I'm going to share like what are the documents I needed to apply for the master's degree in this German university. So usually the requirements really depends on which university you are applying to but I think uh, most of them have some documents that are almost in common. Most of the application portal requires those kind of general uh, information and so general documents of the applicants. So in this video I'm going to show you uh, my application portal and show you like what are the documents I needed to apply for that master's degree. I actually didn't apply to UniAssist, I applied directly to the university website. So if you're applying through UniAssist, it's like UniAssist is a portal that will first assess your file, then it, it will send the files to the university. But uh, you can also apply to, to the university website directly. Uh, I didn't apply through UniAssist because UniAssist has application fees, which I didn't want to pay. And that is why I directly applied to the university portal. So that's why I'm going to show you like what are the documents I needed to directly apply to the university portal. Welcome back to the video again. And right now I'm going to show you the university portal. So this is our university portal where I applied for this program, for this master's degree. So in my application, I'm going to show you like what are the documents I needed, what are the information I had to fill it up. So this is the basic application. You can see the status is accepted. So in the document section, these are the list of documents I needed, like personal information, uh, English language skills, higher education, degree certificate and transcript of records, module handbook, self-assessment of comparability of modules, professional experience, certificate of academic examination board. So now I'm going to click on each section and show you what are the information that I needed to fill up. So first you can see like my basic documents, what program I'm applying to, my name and stuff, my nationality, place of birth, date of birth, what languages I speak. This is all the basic stuff about yourself, your personal information, that's it. Um, next, I had to show that I can speak English. How can I show that? I had to upload my ILTS certificate score file. So ILTS or TOEFL, both is fine. I took ILTS. So I also had to upload the PDF file where it's showing like how much I got. Next is higher education. In higher education section, you have to show that where you got your bachelor's degree from, uh, how much you got in your bachelor's degree, what is the highest mark of your bachelor's degree and what's the lowest mark of the bachelor's degree. Like I wrote 100% is the highest and minimum pass mark is 60%. And I got like around 85.3% in my bachelor's degree. Next, uh, your degree certificates and transcript. So here in this section, you have to upload your degree certificate, like you have completed your degree and these are the points you got, how many points you got in which courses. Just have to upload that PDF file. And then it's a tricky section, it's called uh, modules, module handbook. So in the module handbook, you have to upload the file which states your course structure, like uh, which course you studied and how many credits you got and how many hours equals to how many credits, this kind of information. So if you don't have this file, just go and ask your university to give the module handbook of your program. So I'm going to show you the module handbook of my university program, which I studied, like I studied polymer materials and engineering in my bachelor's degree. So this is the, this is the module handbook for my bachelor's degree. As I started from, I started in a Chinese university, this is the module handbook. From my Chinese university for my program, you can see the course names are written in English and also in Chinese. And here it's stated like how many credits I have completed in each course and uh, how many hours that equals to. Uh, maybe in my university it was like 16 hours is one credit. So 32 hours was like two credits, something like that. I'm not sure I already forgot. So I uploaded the file here. And now it's self-assessment of comparability modules. So here is the particular part. So, so you have to, they will give you a module handbook from the same bachelor's degree program of that university. Let's say I'm applying for materials, materials uh, science and engineering. So 
and I studied in my bachelor is like polymer materials and engineering. So the closest measure that is offered by University of Kiel is chemical engineering. So or chemical engineering or material science and engineering. So I downloaded the uh, module handbook of University of Kiel bachelor's degree in material science and engineering. And I had to compare my handbook to the handbook of University of Kiel. And I had to write like how many courses are in common and how many courses are not in common. So I just, as I wrote like, um, as I wrote like average number of credit points that can be achieved in my bachelor's degree then. So basically it's like you compare the two files and write like I took this, this, this course and this matches uh, with the same course of the bachelor's degree of the university I'm applying to like University of Kiel. So in, in basically what I'm saying is like I graduated from Yangzhou University and I'm applying to University of Kiel. So I just I just compared the bachelor's degree structure of two universities and I write the course name and I show them like these are the courses I studied in my bachelor which matches the courses of University of Kiel bachelor's degree of the same program. Next I had to sh I had to stay I had to show them like my professional experience like if I have done uh, internship or if I have some full-time work experience so I did internship and it was part of my um bachelor's degree program so i just showed them like okay it was part of my uh, program and i had to uh, i had to attend the professional practice uh from my university of my bachelor's degree and here are the credit points i got i don't have the certificate so i just marked the professional experience uh area from my transcript last section is maybe not for you because it's only for the applicants who are from China, Mongolia and Vietnam. As I'm applying from China, I needed to show a certificate that is called APS certificate. Maybe now from applicants from India also need to show the APS certificate when applying. So, but currently when I was applying, it, it, uh, only three, in, three countries needed uh, China, Vietnam and Mongolia. So this is my APS certificate. Uh, APS certificate is like a uh, verification of documents. I had to apply to German embassy in China uh, and after I applied, they checked my documents and transcripts, then they gave me the certificate. So yeah, let me show the portal again. Um, the status is accepted. Um, when you click show, you see again the uh, sections I needed to fill up. Um, the status is accepted. Maybe it took me two months to get the results from them right now i'm at my home and uh, making this video of course so let me just recap what are the documents that you need uh personal information english language skills higher education um degree certificate and transcript then module handbook self-assessment of the comparability of modules uh then professional experience and at the end certificate of academic examination board so the last one certificate of academic examination board you don't need that unless you are from china mongolia and vietnam the most complicated part of this explication is the self-assessment of the comparability of modules so in this part you just have to compare your bachelor's degree course module and university of kiel's bachelor's degree course module that is related to the major that you have studied in your bachelor your university your bachelor's degree university's course module and kiel university's bachelor's degree course module you just compare these two uh, files on the left side there will be listed what were the courses that were offered from university of kiel and on the right side you will have to fill up like if you have taken the same course if you have taken you just write down the name of the course and some of the details like what how much were the credits and at the end you have to list like okay that many credits are in common and that many credits are not found let's say your university the the, the subject you have studied in your bachelor's degree only 80 credits were matching with the credit points of the university of kiel's bachelor's degree and other 60 points were not matched the university of kiel or the german university you're applying to they will uh, maybe let you know that okay if you have to take extra credits before you start your master's degree or not most probably you don't have to take but maybe sometimes they will ask you to finish some extra credits to let you prepare for the master's degree in that major if you haven't studied uh, some basic courses i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so for my course like i studied polymer materials and engineering and i was applying for material science and engineering so polymer materials and material science a little bit different from each other i mean they're the same they're both talking about material science 
but one is specifically about polymer. So some of the courses of material science that I didn't study in my polymer materials and engineering degree, when I got the accepted acceptance letter from University of Kiel, they suggest me to take a few more courses from materials science and engineering that were taught in their bachelor's program in University of Kiel. They just said like, I can start my master's degree, but before I graduate, I must finish those extra 10 credits from the bachelor's degree of University of Kiel. So that was all for this video. I hope you understand or I hope you learned what are the documents that are needed to apply for a master's degree in Germany. I hope you can apply by yourself right now. If you have any question, just comment uh, in the comment box or just message me in my, on my socials. I'm posting my socials uh, on the description box of this video. Until the next video, goodbye. Mm -hmm.